lists, they have small town values still, like a woman who knows how to cook, right? And I know that's it's 2019, but I still appreciate a woman who knows how to cook, like the ones in Alberta's. Even if it's just methamphetamine, it's still a start. <laughs> I like supporting my little ma and pa meth labs, you know what I mean? None of that big corporate mumbo jumbo, I like the little ones. See, anyone ever do methamphetamine? Nope. I have to. I have twice. <laughs> Just like a hundred. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not, it's, it's overrated. I'll put it that way. I don't know if you guys ever need to build anything in a day, but unless, yeah, but it's not very recreational for me. Unless you need to shovel three tons of something in three hours. Um, but I do keep my meth dealer on speed dial in the end since I need it. Yes, I know. I'll let that sit. I'll let that sit. Talking about entrepreneurs in the drug business world. This young urbanite entrepreneur was walking around Allentown and he came up to me and goes, Yo man, I got this shit that killed Elvis. <laughs> go on. Go on. And he opened up his jacket. And in his jacket, he had a five-pound bag of fried peanut butter and banana sandwiches. <laughs> Here's something. Oh, yeah, totally. Just so you know, there's a lot of jokes about meth here. Um, we do not promote or condone or endorse and the use of meth. But we are a meth, so. Oh, wow. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for the disclaimer. By the way, guys, I have a great five-day energy powder I'm here to endorse. 